folks, today on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, we're going to be mowing for the very first time with the Select Track electric tractor. This is my very first time. We're going to give you the first impressions of an electric tractor mowing on the farm. Hey there, folks, this is Josh, aka Stony Ridge Farmer, here on social media. I live on a 150 acre first generation farm here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, and this is a battery powered cordless drill, and this is a battery powered circular saw and this is a battery powered tractor. These are all tools just like my cell phone that are battery powered that we're using on our farm operation. Today we're going to check out the electric tractor and we're going to mow with it for the very first time. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. Afraid of life, times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. So this, folks, is the Select Track electric tractor. It is a new thing. It is something new that we're testing here on the farm. The Select Track tractor is charged 100% off grid with an off grid charging station. I'll show you that. So this is an off grid charging station by Zendur. This tractor is charged via 120 volt or 220 volt. And basically you just plug this plug in to that little tab right there and the tractor is fully charged. We'll turn the key on and it will tell us how much charge we have. At this point, we are 100% charged. Again, this is a 100% fully electric tractor and it is running right now. You can hear that hum. It'll run for approximately 20 seconds without an operator in the seat and then it will shut itself down until it's needed again so it doesn't waste any energy. Now, this Select Track tractor is fully charged by the sun. This tractor runs 100% off of sunlight via the battery bank charging station that I have. And these are the solar panels that are charging the battery bank. So the solar panels charge the Zendur battery bank, and the battery bank charges the Select Track electric tractor. This tractor is running currently. This is what it sounds like. So let's quickly walk around the tractor and I'll show you some of the features. So this has a loader system on it underneath the hood and we'll show you at the end of the video is the battery pack. The battery pack has a 10 year lifespan and it weighs about 500 pounds. Again, it's charged via 120 or 220 outlet. Very, very simple. And this tractor is 100% ran by the sun. I don't have to haul a fuel canister. I don't have to go to the store to buy diesel fuel. I don't have to spill fuel or run the risk of spilling fuel. It's a heavy machine. It's a four wheel drive machine. Now, the loader system will come off of this tractor. There are a few little attachments that are right here in this tube that will allow me to pull some pins and disconnect the loader system. We're going to leave the loader system in place for this job we're getting ready to do and we've got a mower. We'll talk about that in just a second. Now you look at the tires that we have on here. These are not agricultural tires. These are industrial tires. They're bigger than a standard 25 horsepower tractor might typically have. This is a heavy machine. It weighs right around 4,000 total pounds. Now on the front here, you see the mud. I got it stuck the other day when I was out doing a little bit of mowing myself. And it has a quick attach for skid steer type attachments. So virtually any bucket that fits any tractor or any skid steer quick attach type attachment will fit right on the front of this little tractor. Now, as we look just a little bit further, this thing is a hydraulically driven, so a motor drives the hydraulics and a motor drives the PTO shaft and drivetrain. So it's battery powered for the hydraulics and it's battery powered for the drivetrain. Up on the top here is an added option that I put on here. This is called a Cool Tops fan. I'll post a link to that critter down in the video description. That blows cool air down on the operator and it runs off the electrical system of the tractor right here. These are the quick attaches for our loader system. And if you look, you'll notice that this whole apparatus is attached to the loader system right here. Again, this is a select track electric tractor. As we look around the back side of the tractor, it's very similar to any other small 25 horsepower tractor. You can see we have two hydraulic remotes and the hydraulic remote controls are right there. On the back here, we have a Tar River Implements 
five foot ERC5. I'll post a link to this critter in the video description. This is a rotary cutter right here. So it's all lubricated up. It's ready to rock and roll. We're hooked up and we're ready to mow pretty much. So we're gonna take this thing and do our first true mowing job. Now, I'm gonna take my phone and I'm gonna hit start. And we're gonna show you guys just how long we've been using this tractor and how much battery has drained. The lifespan of this battery, again, is 10 years. The usable lifespan of this battery at full strength, in other words, when you're using 100% of the power of this tractor, it's four hours. Now, this is not a row crop tractor, and you guys need to understand that. I'm not gonna go out and harvest 2,000 acres of corn with this tractor. This is a chore tractor, this is a homestead tractor, this is a small farm tractor, and this is a fuel saver. So that's what it's all about. I have yet to accomplish an entire mowing job because I got stuck in it the other day. <laughs> These things kind of happen. And it's a little bit different than a standard tractor. So as you're moving forward, the PTO turns. In other words, the mowing deck turns. But if you're not moving, the PTO does not turn. So we're learning, we're growing, and we're testing and trying out the Select Track electric tractor today. Let's get busy mowing with an electric tractor. So you guys can see this tractor is doing a fantastic job. I've got that fan blowing on me and I'm feeling nice and cool. It's about 75 degrees out here today. What you really need to think about here is that this has a very large battery, about a 500 pound battery inside under the hood. And this battery is completely rebuildable and recyclable. So the longevity issue that people question with an electric tractor is pretty much solved with a rebuildable and or recyclable battery. So instead of spending all the money on oil and fuel and running to get fuel from the fuel station and carrying around cans and accidentally spilling, you don't have to worry about any of that. This is a 100% zero emissions tractor whilst it's running. And it's fully powered by the sun here on the Stony Ridge Farm with our solar charging setup. So guys, I can't say enough about the simplicity of this tractor and never having to worry about running out of fuel. Now a point that gets made is what happens when the battery dies when you're way out on the backside of your property or way out on the backside of your farm? Well, when this battery gets to a certain low point, it goes into limp mode and it will no longer run the PTO. It will allow you enough power to get you back home. So you'll be able to run the machine just driving it back to the charging station and from zero charge all the way to 100% charge takes around 12 hours. So you plug it in overnight and you'll be using it again. All in all, I think it's doing a fantastic job getting this little mowing job done, guys. We'll let you know here at the end and we'll pop the hood for you and show you underneath what the battery system looks like on this tractor. It's really simple. It's really easy. It's something that's easy to maintain. And for the homesteader or small farm or small property owner, this is a very nice, quiet, simple, and easy machine to use. I'm not here to sell you a tractor. I'm here to test this tractor, and we're gonna be testing it in multiple different implements in multiple situations here on the farm. And we've already used it to move some gravel around the farm, and it's done a fantastic job. Okay, we're in neutral, set our brake. This is the Cool top span. Nice. Well, <laughs> what can I say, man? I'm a big guy. I'm about six foot five, and small tractors are pretty tight for me, but I'll say that this one has plenty of room in the operator station. Man, 
I really expected something different. I expected the small tractor, this electric tractor to bog. If I were on a gas powered or diesel powered, petroleum product powered machine, I would have felt it bog a little bit more, I feel like, in the taller grass. It never bogged, and it seems as though the hydraulic system works separately from the drive system and the PTO system. So in other words, when I move the loader handle, it didn't budge. It, it didn't slow it down. It didn't do anything. It just kept on trucking. Um, first impressions in mowing. How long have we been mowing? Let me grab my phone. One hour and 22 minutes. Right there is proof is in the pudding. Uh, hour and 22 minutes and lifespan on the battery. As we turn the key on, it'll tell me really quickly. We're still at 75% battery life on this machine. So hour and 22 minutes. Uh, stated runtime is supposed to be four hours. So if an hour and 22 minutes, you guys do the math. Basically an hour and a half has got it down to 75%. So a quarter of the life should have been one hour. Well. A quarter of the life was an hour and 30 minutes. So what you gotta think about, I guess, with an electric tractor is getting to and from where you're gonna go, it doesn't burn very much energy. If you're doing stuff like small chores around your garden or whatever, it doesn't burn very much energy. We were actually running the cool top, which is not an accessory system blowing down on your head the whole time also. So that's drawing more power. Very impressed. Uh, first look at mowing with an electric tractor, super impressed. Let's talk about the mowing deck, the Tar River Implements mowing deck real quick. It did a fantastic job. It almost cut as good as a zero turn, but it does leave this windrow just like any other rotary cutter of grass right here, which is good. It helps feed the land. I like having the chains here, the chain guards. I didn't hit anything that would have bashed a tire, but those chain guards are really good. If you were to hit like a deer horn at antler shed, and it goes back into the tire or a piece of metal, it could go back into the tire. These chains right here make a huge difference. So awesome mower. Really impressed with the Select Track electric tractor. Now, last but not least, I told you guys we'd be looking under the hood. There's a little key that comes with this thing. This is probably the second time I've looked under the hood. We stick that little key in there. Turn the key. Up we go. That's it. That's all that's under there. Let's get a little close up. So this is the battery pack. This is an on off switch. These are the two leads. And this is a control box of some sort. There's your fuse panel right there. So that's all, that's the engine. Close our hood back down. Now, all we've got to do is go back, charge it up overnight and we're ready to mow again. But I'm actually gonna take this and I'm just gonna keep right on mowing. I've got four miles of fence line to mow here and I think this little tractor is gonna get the job done. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully the next video will be trying a different implement on the Select Track electric tractor. So far, super impressed, super strong, very torquey, instant torque and that's that instant torque that you get from an electric motor guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel love to have you back here on the stony ridge we'll check out some more electric tractor action all right Woo! Oh, come on down to the stony ridge bring your wife and bring your kids we're living life here and sweet that's the way it's supposed to be stony ridge Woo! Uh, oh. <laughs> thumbnails are fun see you later